not change the world, but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. Now, the person who said that was Mother Teresa. Now, Mrs. Neiman cast that very first stone 25 years ago to help cement the school, if you like, into a caring and giving community. Um, a character and an attitude developed that made Cardinal Beijing this school a very special place where love and concern for the other prevailed. And that was what Terry Fox and his family were all about. Terry cast his uh, very special stone across the waters and uh, many ripples resulted that have been enormous. As students, boys and girls of this special school, I encourage you to uh, cast stones across the waters representing your lives that will create many good and lasting ripples that you get over. And you can accomplish all of that by having the right attitude. The impact of attitude in life, boys and girls, is very, very important. It is more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes. It is more important than appearances, giftedness, or skill. It will make or break a person. It will make or break a church, a community, a home, and certainly it will make or break a school. The right attitude is most important. But a remarkable thing, boys and girls, is that we have a choice every day. When we walk into this school, when we walk in as teachers and principals, our students, we have a choice every day regarding the attitude we will embrace for that particular day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing that each and every one of us can do is play the one string we have. And that is our attitude. So, boys and girls, life is basically 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. And with that, I, I'll um, wish you well. Terry Fox developed that most important right attitude at a very young age. Many of the students and staff and parents within this community did likewise over the years. And I encourage you, boys and girls, to continue with that right attitude and approach to make a difference. I know you will. So thank you all once again. And God bless you. Just as Mr. Earlier was finishing up his bat, leaned over to me and she said, Good luck following that. Uh, my favorite part, I think, of my new job as principal is that I get to witness what goes on in a whole school. I get to come into your classrooms every day, and I get to see the fantastic things that you're doing, but I also get to see all the amazing things that our staff members do. When I was a classroom teacher, I knew what was going on in my room, but I don't know if I always had such an idea of what was going on around the school. But now as principal, I get to see these wonderful actions. And thinking about all those things, I wanted to quote one of my personal heroes today. Dr. Martin Luther King once said, Life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Well, as principal this year, I've been able to see it happen. And I think Ms. Nealon has spent 25 years answering that question of Martin Luther King. What are you doing for others? If we take a look around this room right now, and we see all of us gathered together, what an eclectic group of people we have, from retired teachers, to members of the Fox family, to members of the Terry Fox Foundation, to all our retired staff, current staff, everyone brought in here together. And quite honestly, the common theme in all this is Mrs. Neal. One of my favorite books that I ever read is this book called The Black Swan. And in this book, the writer talks about how in history we always think that everything sort of moves along, moves along slowly and smoothly in a straight line. But he said, the author of that book said, that's not really true. What ends up happening is all of a sudden these black swan events come up. Something happens that pushes us off into a new and better direction. And that's what we have here. Black swan event that changed Cardinal Legge was when Mrs. Neelan made the decision she wanted to bring the Terry Fox front to Cardinal Legge. And Mr. O'Leary gave the okay for it to happen. And 25 years later, and over $530,000 later, look where we are now. 
I got to witness when I was here as a staff member, as a teacher, I saw what it looked like at the front end with all the run and all the fun that went with it. Now as principal, I've been lucky enough to witness all the work and dedication that goes on the back end. And I cannot believe how much work Mrs. Nealon has put into this. So for all the wonderful work that she's done acknowledging and bringing everyone together, I think what's really important today is that we acknowledge the fantastic work that she's done. Because again, we wouldn't be here. That $535,000 would not be here. This fantastic event that has brought old, new, past, present, all of us together wouldn't have happened. So before we have our special recognition, I want everyone to join me in a big round of applause for Mrs. Bielan.